Good morning, guys. It's a beautiful Sunday morning, unseasonably warm for December, and I thought I'd take a motorcycle ride into New York City, and I want to take you guys along with me. So in this video, we're going to do a little vlogging here. We're going to ride into the city, and um, I don't think I'll show you the whole ride into New York, but we'll... We'll take it piece by piece, and um, today we're going to work on doing a little bit of hybrid photography and videography. So that's going to be interesting. So uh, first, let's see if I can use my Easy Pass for the first time here. One-handed, to uh, try to downshift, and Easy Pass, and let's go. <laughs> All right. Oh, policeman, mm, keep your eyes straight. Uh, welcome to the Lincoln Tunnel. This is uh, New Jersey's portal into New York. And we're go in, going into the tunnel. Goes right under the Hudson River. So let's rock it here, baby. You know, interesting thing. I actually rode this tunnel on a bicycle once. <laughs> on a five-borough bike tour. It actually went through the tunnel. And this is a very steep hill going down. You can't Whoa! Look at that guy going 100 in the tunnel. Ooh, a little light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> so welcome to New York, guys. Uh, when you come out of the Lincoln Tunnel, you are around about 41st Street. And um, what we're going to do is go a little bit east and go down 9th Avenue. Hey, here we are on 9th Avenue on 34th Street. And if you look to the left over there, you see those green awnings? That is B&H Photo. The superstore. Hey, <laughs> if you ever have a chance in New York to come by and check out B&H, hey B&H, uh, the superstore is super cool. So now we're on the famous 34th Street. Uh, a couple of landmarks on 34th Street. You could see the Empire State Buildings there, and also the world famous. If you look to the left here, you'll see uh, the world's largest department store. This is Macy's. It takes up the entire. Avenue, and this is where they do the Thanksgiving Day Parade, right about here. <laughs> so, and there's the Empire State Building. Uh, we're headed for 6th Avenue now, so we're going a little bit east, and we are headed to Soho. Now, by the way, I packed the Fujifilm X-T3 with the 18-55 to because I got a message. There's the Empire State Building. I got a message on Instagram from someone that said, hey, I do travel photography and videography. Is the 18 to 55 lens good enough to be the only lens you bring? Um, you know, because a lot of people always want a prime lens or an extra lens or a wide lens. And at first I just said yes automatically, but then I was like, let me put it to the test. Let me go down to, uh, a oh, we could totally take this biker. Mm -hmm. Yeah, baby. Hey, this is 23rd Street. That's the Flatiron Building. This was in Spider-Man, the first movie. That was the Daily Bugle there. <laughs> All right, so going back to the 18 to 55, I think it's a great lens, and it could be, the, of course, the only lens you have. I prefer to have a prime with me, so I recommend having the 18 to 55 and then maybe your favorite prime in case you want to do portraits or something with a little bit of a blurrier background. Uh, but the 18 to 55 is great for video on the older cameras because it's at, it has image stabilization. So we're going to test that today going uh, to Soho. And also it takes great photos as well. Oh, our heroes. Yes. Okay, where are we here? 10th Street. 10th Street. And we're headed for the neighborhood called Soho. And it's called Soho because it is so south of the Ho, Houston Street, H-O. So anything south of Houston Street, uh, well, just a little neighborhood south of Houston Street is called Soho. Soho is a very cool neighborhood. It's got great architecture and sort of very unique buildings. And here, look at these streets, guys, on a Sunday, so empty. And here it is, here's Houston Street. Houston Street's pretty big. And once we pass Houston, we are officially in Soho here. And you could already see the beautiful Art Deco building to the left. And um, we're going to find parking in Soho and shoot hybrid video and photo. 
And by the way, in the next video, I will share my settings and how to set up your camera uh, to shoot hybrid quickly. But in this one, let's just play around and actually shoot a little bit of Soho. And let's find some parking here. Where are we? Okay, here we go. Oh, the Apple Store on the right here used to be an old, uh, used to be an old post office. And look how cool, guys! Soho has cobbled streets, and uh, this looks like a good place where we can park. So I'm gonna park the bike, and we are going to try to do a little bit of video and photo.